You laughing? Let me tell you, we have an agenda. We are not going to tell you everything. Not everything, but just wait. We cannot tell you how we've been exploiting the country. Let me put it on to out to you. My country, in this country, Paul Bia is the president. Who are you? We decide what to do. We can take and untake. You can go to hell. We are doing the services of Paul Bia, and he is doing the services of the French. We have to assimilate the Anglophones that they are fighting now. Fighting for what? Let me tell you something. We are the ones to determine what is going to happen here. Not them. We have to take the initiatives. We are the stronger ones. We will tell you you don't care about them. No, 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 no. We are the ones to tell you. Let me show you. Do you know our two? Yeah. We're going to put in place our agenda. We're going to break down their will. We're going to set confusion and then we will rule them. Achu Julius Tabe. But it's Achu Julius Tabe. You don't know him? Let me tell you. We have a plan. They have stopped working in court. We will get the courts back. The schools, we can for the moment forget it. But other people are taking care of that. We are going to take care of this court. And we have an agenda. We have a plan. We're working together with Barista Julius Achu. Yes. Barista Julius Tabe Achu. Don't look so surprised. Don't you know that he is our man behind the scenes trying to uproot, to derail the so-called restoration plans of the Anglophone? You know, our plan is this. We have been looting, sorry, we have been living on the state coffers, on the money that the people have been working on. That's normal. If you are a leader, you have to live on something. So we have been living on this and receiving our due pay all these years. But now the Anglophones have come to spoil everything. They want to take away our Garden of Eden. It's not possible. It's not possible. We had thought that we could solve that problem militarily. But they don't come out for us to shoot at them. So it is terrible. It is horrible. They have boycotted the courts. They have boycotted the schools. What should we do? We have tried everything. We have bribed them. We've given them a lot of money. But they have refused. So, we arrested their leaders. We cut off the internet. But they have still refused. What do you expect us to do? The government is trying to do everything possible. According to the constitution. And the constitution is very clear. Exploit the Anglophones. I mean, that was France. France told us to do that. That's why we're doing it. So now that the Anglophones are again at our neck, and this time they're not at our testes, and it's very painful, let me tell you, we cannot let go that easily. So we have devised a plan. We always have our men in the background. And this time around, it is a plan for Barrister Julius Tabe Acho. His duty is to loo, to woo, to force the lawyers back to court in Bermuda. And in order to do that, he came up with this very, very genial plan. Mischievous as it looks like, but a very genial plan. We challenge the Catholic Church. We know that the Catholic Church in the Bermuda Archdiocese is a very, very strong church. If we can get this church to come to court, people will come to court. The lawyers will rally behind them to come and protect them, to come and defend them. And then they will fill all our courtrooms and our judges will have work to do. All they have to do now is to prolong the cases so that we have two court cases going on. One in Yaoundé and one in Bamenda. So we keep distracting them. And then we keep calling on the international community to see that we are giving justice. And we delay and delay and delay.
Jesus Tabe Achu. Don't look so surprised. Don't you know that he is our man behind the scene trying to uproot, to derail the so-called restoration plans of the Anglophone? Doc Barista Julius Tabe Achu. Barista Julius Ngu Tabe Achu. Born about 1964, son of a man from Bafochu in the Mesam County of Southern Cameroons, who served as a colonial SD of Limbe. He attended both the Cameroon Protestant College CPC Bali and the Government High School GHS Limbe. An erstwhile talented guitarist and lover of reggae music, who today might have become a big reggae star if not of his preference for a crooked way of life, a lifestyle that he incorporated during the infamous period in which his uncle was Prime Minister of Cameroon from 1992 to 1996. During that period, he was introduced into the crooked ways to extort and exploit the public of us. That very controversial uncle of his was none other than the Baron of the Santa Mafia, Simon Achidi Ajo. Today, a senator of the terrorist gangster party, the CPDM. The reign of Senator Achide Achu as Prime Minister of Cameroon went into history notoriously for its widely acclaimed philosophies, scratch my back, I scratch your back, and chop wipe mob for door, both of which denote the widespread policy of bribery and corruption that was used to divide and rule, especially during the early days of the Social Democratic Front emergence. In 2011, Barrister Julius Ngu Tabeacho tried to outwit his peers when he ran for the position of Bar Council member of the Cameroon lawyers, but received a sound snake-like beating that sent him into a professional coma for many, many years. Then, in the wake of the Coffin Revolution that started in November 2016, with the general uprising of the indigenous people of southern Cameroon to challenge their perpetual oppressors, and the brutality that was meted out on them in response by the government of La Republic du Cameroon, while some southern Cameroonian sons and daughters risked their lives and property to champion the cause for the good of their people, some individuals of the establishment including barrister Julius Ngu Tabe Achu, saw instead an opportunity to capitalize on the situation for personal interest and stage a devilish comeback. Without having contributed in any way productively in the struggle, barrister Achu was one of the first to offer to defend the incarcerated leadership of the outlawed consortium, including his honorable colleague barrister Agbo Bala. Thank God there were more competent lawyers and barristers to handle that. Thank God indeed. Then, now we can see once more clearly on whose paycheck barrister Julius Ngu Tabe Achu has been running errands. How then can one explain the turn of events that the same barrister Julius Tabe Achu is the one representing the interests of the so-called consortium of parents who has dragged the men of God of the Catholic Church in the Archdiocese of Bamenda to court, knowing fully well that the courts have been non-functional since the onset of the strikes by none other than his colleagues. How can Barrister Julius Ngu Tabe Achu be so mean to his colleagues? What other means of betrayal have we not seen? And this same guy wanted once to be the president of the bar. I mean, this same guy who only a few months ago opted to defend Barrister Agbo Bala, Dr. Fontaine, Mancho Bibixi, and the countless number of freedom fighters of Southern Cameroons. As things unfold, the story has not yet ended. However, the likes of Barrister Julius Ngu Tabe Achu, who still believe that the struggle for the restoration of the independence of Southern Cameroons could be stopped or even reversed, be warned. 
repent now and join your people or stay clear of them for you shall be singled out when the wrath of the gods of Lake Oku or Mount Fako shall strike on you. This message goes similarly to the men and women of Southern Cameroon's extraction who are still clothing the colonial posts of parliamentarians and senators to listen to the hearts and choose. Resign from the colonial parliament of the Republic of Cameroon and return home or stay away forever. We know you. Our eyes are on you. As for the Catholic Church in Southern Cameroon, nothing can and shall happen to you. This is the moment of the liberation of the oppressed people of Southern Cameroon, which also includes your leadership. It still baffles me to note that since the start of our revolution, no Catholic representative in La Republic to Cameroon, including the Apostolic Nuncio and the other bishops, has been bold enough to openly criticize the brutality with which the occupational forces of La Republic to Cameroon have been meting out on us. Where is the show of fraternity when fellow Catholics are being persecuted in Southern Cameroon and the Catholic Church in the Republic to Cameroon stays quiet? There we go. It's no secret that there has always been this division of the Catholic Church simultaneously in Cameroon. Now is the time for someone to prove me wrong. We the people of Southern Cameroon stand shoulder to shoulder with our bishops and our priests. If La Republic thinks it can break our resolve by forcing the courts to resume in Bamenda, it's a big mistake. No court will sit in Bamenda or anywhere else in Southern Cameroon until our demands are met. Block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, court by court, school by school. <laughs>